Max and Minnie are in their bedroom playing with their toys. Broom, broom! <laughs> broom, broom! <laughs> Max, let's play with the puppets. Yes, yes. Roar! What is that? Oh no, it's a dragon! Run, run! Roar! Yes, I am a dragon! Ah, help! Help! It's a dragon! Roar! Ah. <laughs> Daddy Ozo and Mommy Amy is sitting in the living room watching television. What's wrong with the kids? Let me check. Roar! <laughs> Max? Minnie? What's all this noise? Ah! Uh, help! What happened, Daddy Ozo? Oh, what a mess! Someone could trip over this mess! I indeed tripped over and hurt my back! Oh dear! Come on, kids! Let's do a little tidying up! But Mama, we are playing with the puppets! You can play again when you have tidied it up! But this is all Max's mess! Is it, Minnie? Maybe some mess is mine too. <laughs> <laughs> I can help Max tidying up, and Mama can help you, Minnie. Oh, let's start. Quick, Minnie, put all the dolls in your toy box. <laughs> yes. Max? That basket is our goal. Let's drop all the balls in there. Whoa, that's fun. <coughs> now these books. Let's keep them in place. We have all tidied it up! Hooray! Now, this room looks great! What a tidy room! Mama, now that we have cleaned the mess, can we now play again with our puppets? Yes, we would join too! What a lovely sight it is to see Ozo and his family playing together! It's a playtime for Max, Minnie, and her friends. <laughs> Where is Lolo? I can hear her. Oh, how did she get there? We need to help her. Let's shake the tree! Oh! What's wrong, Max? Mama, the cat fell on his nose. See? He got scratches, too. Oh, that's bad. Let me call a doctor. Dr. Gray speaking. A scratched nose, you said. I will be right there.
Hello? Where's the patient? Here. My nose hurts. Oh, I see. Let me see closely. You need a bandage. That will make it better. Hooray! Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. That's my duty. Dr. Gray has fixed Max's nose. The cat needs help too. Doctor, can you treat the cat too? No, I'm afraid. We need a vet. A vet is a doctor who treats the animals. Dr. Anna speaking. A cat fell from a tree, you said? I will be right there. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Where's the patient? Here. Lolo, she fell down the tree. Who told you to climb the tree? Is she okay? Yes, she just needs some massage. <coughs> Hooray! There are doctors for everyone. And pet doctors are called vets. It's January 1st and everyone is wearing a new dress. Mom, what's so special about today? It's the first day of the year. So what? The first day of the year is the best day to start a new thing. Is that so, Papa? Then... I will join the dance class. That's great, Minnie. And what will you start, Max? Max thinks for a while. I love to eat, so I will learn how to cook. <laughs> I will get a help in the kitchen soon. Yes, Mama. We are getting late. For what? Surprise! I love surprises. Then let's sit in the car fast. I can't wait for the surprise. Me too. Are we buying a new car? Yes, an electric car. Why an electric car? Because electric car runs on battery and saves fuel, and thus are more environment friendly. Oh, Mama, I did not know this. Let's buy an electric car. Sir, which color would you like? Ozo looks at his kids. I like black. And I like red. But we are buying only one car, kids. So, let's buy black. No, red. Black. Red. The kids are arguing over the collar. Amy walks to Ozo. Now what? I have an idea. Ozo whispers something in the salesman's ears. Surely, sir. Salesman then takes them to another car, which was half red and half black. Here you go, sir. Wow! This is fantastic! Let's buy this! Ozo purchases the red and black car and the salesman gives them the key. Congratulations, sir. You made a wise choice selecting an electric car. Thank you. This is awesome! I love it, Dad! Let's go on a long drive, Ozo. Yes, Amy. 
Papa, we need to fill gas. <laughs> Max, you forgot that this is an electric car and it runs on battery. Oh, my bad. I want a red ice cream. I want black. Ozo whispers something in ice cream seller's ears and he hands them both a red and black ice cream. <laughs> the family is sitting on the dining table. Mom, what's special today? Walnuts. Yeah, I love walnuts, Mama. Me too. Everyone grabs a walnut and then tries to break it. Papa Ozo breaks it first. Then Max. Then Mama Amy. Minnie is still struggling with walnut. Oh, this is so tough. You need strong feet, Minnie. Minnie tries hard to break walnut and in turn, she breaks her teeth. Ah, ouch! My teeth hurt! Let me look, Minnie. Mama Amy checks Minnie's teeth, and she finds one of her teeth wiggling. Mama Amy just touches the tooth, and the tooth falls. Oh, Minnie, looks like your teeth has just broken. Don't be sad, Minnie. This broken tooth is so good. Why, Dad? What is good about my broken tooth? Seems like you don't know about Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy? Tooth Fairy? Yes, kids. Minnie, you should keep this broken tooth under your pillow. The Tooth Fairy will collect the broken tooth and in turn, she would give you a silver coin. Oh, that's great, Papa. Can I see the Tooth Fairy? You can, but for that, you need to be awake the whole night. I will. I want to see her. Me too. Well then, let us see if you both can stay awake the whole night. Yes, kids. The whole day, Minnie is looking after her broken teeth. She has placed it under her pillow, and from time to time, she is keeping a watch on it. At night, the family had their dinner together. Kids, you remember that you are not supposed to sleep. Yes, Papa. We have to meet the Tooth Fairy. How will you keep yourself awake? We would play games, read story books, and yes, music, of course. Okay, all the best, kids. The kids are excited as they plan to stay awake the whole night. Max and Minnie are playing with their toys. Soon, they are listening to music. And then, they are reading the story book. But now, their eyelids are closing on their own. Minnie, we must not sleep. Yes, Max. The kids could not stay awake and finally, they both are asleep. In the mid of the night, the window sparkles and the tooth fairy enters the room. She lifts the pillow and grabs the tooth and in the same place, she keeps a silver coin and then leaves. The sun has risen. Mama Amy and Papa Ozo rushes to the kids' room. <laughs> I knew they could not stay awake the whole night. Mama Amy wakes up the kids. Wake up, kids! It's morning! What? Did the Tooth Fairy come? No idea! Let us check the pillow! Minnie pick the pillow up and there they find a sparkling silver coin. She did come. Oh no, we missed her. Don't worry, kids. You will have another chance to meet her. How? Max, all your teeth will surely fall. <laughs> <laughs> 
The kids could not see the tooth fairy, but they're happy that she collected Minnie's tooth and in return gave them a sparkling silver coin. Max and Minnie are in their bedroom sleeping. Good morning, kids. It's time to school. Good morning, Mama. I love you. I love you too, Minnie. Amy tries to wake up Max. Five more minutes, Mama. But Max, we would be late. Just five minutes. Look, Mom, Max is still not awake. Amy tries to wake up Max. Wake up, Max. It's too late. Just five minutes more, Mama. No, Max. It's already late. Please, five more minutes, Mama. Mama Amy doesn't listen to Max. Ozo! Papa Ozo comes running. Max is not waking up. <laughs> I will wake him up. Papa Ozo lifts Max and takes him to the washroom. Ah! Oh no! No! I am drowning! <laughs> <laughs> Why is the school so early? School is not early, Max. You are lazy. Max is always cribbing while going to school, whereas Minnie loves school. The next day, too, Mama Amy wakes up the kids. Minnie wakes up easily, but Max doesn't. He is troubling again. This time, Mama Amy sprinkles water on Max's face, and again, he cribs. Papa Ozo and Mama Amy are sitting on the couch, thinking about Max. We need to get rid of Max's laziness to go to school. I have a plan. Mama Amy tell Papa Ozo her plan. The very next morning, Mama Amy wakes up Minnie as usual. She gets ready and goes to school, while Max is still asleep. I did, but you didn't want to wake up. You could have waked me up anyways like you did earlier. We would not. You are lazy, Max. If you behave this way, you would miss everything in life. Like you missed your school today. But today was the special games day. I am sorry you missed it, Max. Max is feeling guilty for not waking up on time. He is sad. He spends the whole day sitting around, looking outside the window. Around 2 o'clock, Max sees Minnie's school bus and rushes out of the house. Hey, what happened in school today? We played basketball. It was so much fun. Oh, I missed all of that. You did, but if you stop being lazy, you won't miss anything. You are right, Papa. I will never be lazy again. I don't want to miss anything. That's great, Max. So now, when Mama Amy wakes up the kids... Good morning, kids! Time to school! Max wakes up immediately. Good morning, Mama! Good morning, Mama! I love you! I love you both! 